Mark the Movie Man here for the final cut, and I'm here with Jeremy, who was involved in one of the films here at the festival. Let me see if I can get the title right. Blood on the Trail... Blood... I... I... I why don't you tell... Sure, it's uh, Trail of Blood on the Trail. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, sorry about that. When I first saw that title and judging, I'm like... I'm not going to remember that one. <laughs> uh, and now, why don't you tell us uh, what role you played with the, in the film? Were you producer, director? Yeah, I uh, actually uh, co-wrote it with the director, Kate Lavin, and uh, then I served as producer. Um, that was my main function, and then assisted throughout, um, throughout the production and post-production process. And I also got to play a uh, zombie that got to fight the, uh, the lead character. So that was, that was interesting and a lot of fun and a very different perspective from what I normally do. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's about uh, basically people on a nature trail and they get during the zombie outbreak. Uh, where did the inspiration for this film come from? Are, are you a fan of zombie films? or? Uh, yeah, certainly a fan of zombie films, but the main inspiration really came from the location. So there's a, there's a tunnel that plays a key role in, in the movie where they get kind of uh, attacked by all the zombies. And uh, Kate, the director, and I were actually on a bike ride together and we found this trail or this tunnel. And uh, by the end of it, after I kind of left her in my dust she uh, she got out the other end and, and was basically like we need to make a movie here and we need to make it now <laughs> so uh, so we did <laughs> and uh, where where is this trail and what is this in the US where you shot this oh yeah it's a uh, Peoria Illinois it's the Rock Island Greenway Trail and um, we live in the Peoria area so we were just out just kind of enjoying a, a nice day and uh, found found a location for a movie and we were able to work out a deal with the park district to film there and and the rest is uh, cinema history. <laughs> now was this your uh, first time producing a film? Have you produced others? Uh, never produced other films. Um, I work at the Live and Production Company with Kate and we have done a lot of commercials in the past so this was our first feature so it was definitely a a uh, crazy learning experience, you know, casting, uh, funding, and working out all the all the arrangements that have to be made for a feature film was pretty exhilarating. Sure. Awesome. And uh, do you have any suggestions or any uh, advice for any aspiring indie filmmakers out there? I mean, the obvious one is to do it. Don't wait. Do it. If you have an inspiration, do it. If you have something that will make help you tell a story, use it. Um, try not to, I guess, uh, let your dreams expand beyond maybe what you can afford to do. Try to, you know, we found this tunnel. We, we had bicycles. Well, you don't really need a whole lot more than that to tell this type of story other than the latex and the effects and whatnot. <laughs> sure. But, you know, bikes in a tunnel and you can tell a great story from that. So just go out there and do it. Fantastic. Thank you for your time very Thank much. Thank you so much. You